In the summer of 2016, the Children's Museum of Indianapolis unveiled their new exhibit, Beyond Spaceship Earth, with support from NASA, Eli Lilly, Purdue University, and retired astronaut David Wolf. This interactive attraction allows visitors to learn more about space travel and simulate living on board the International Space Station. One of the things we know is that, from our research with young children and families, is that the idea of, of outer space and space is very much alive and well in the hearts and minds of young people, and of course, grandparents, it's multi-generational. When people ask me about space, whether it's adults or young people, it never uh, ceases to amaze how broad their questions are. Two hours, 43 minutes into the spacewalk by Dave Wolf and Pierce Sellers. And Dave, you are cleared to go to the Zenith Center Bowl. Building the International Space Station it has got to be one of the most thrilling things to be a part of. Uh, to think our country and then our own team and then I got to lead the spacewalk team that built the International Space Station. I got these skills from Purdue. Well, Purdue is this incredible nexus of astronaut academy and everything that that means, men, women, from testing, pilot testing in the early years to now the biomed tech, and it's important for, for children and families to know about those relationships. Here in the, the Planetarium and Space Object Theater, we have real flown NASA space equipment. We're able to bring back to the museum the original Liberty Bell 7 that Gus Grissom flew. And we wanted to create an immersive experience and create an international space station exhibit using the resources and knowledge of uh, retired astronaut David Wolf. Look at that. The kids are gonna have a blast with this. And they're gonna learn a lot whether they know it or not. So he was just, he was helpful in many, many ways. About three years of, of, of looking at lots of photos, talking with David about what parts of the space station do we want to actually be 3D and what can just be graphics. The museum, Dr. Patch and the CEO here and the staff have done an incredible job recreating a space station, uh, the outside of the space station, spacewalks, a situation where young people will have to make the kind of decisions that researchers have to make operational people have to make. Well, David, of course, is a great resource for a number of reasons. All of his time in space, he's from Indiana, not just from Indiana, but he's from Indianapolis, went to high school here. So he actually donated, or allows us to borrow some of the packages of the food that he ate. This is some food, this is my real silverware that I had up in space. I would like the young people and, and all ages to feel this impact of a world that just is different than Earth essentially an Alice in Wonderland kind of feeling that you're walking into a place that just can't be on Earth. This place where a little piece of Velcro will hold a refrigerator on the wall. It's so strange. We want to show them what that feels like, but in a way that passes on judgment and decision-making and exposes them to the STEM or STEAM skills. So you can actually enter and learn about what does it take to become an astronaut, what do astronauts do before they become astronauts, what do they do after, what do they do on the space station, or what did they do in the space program, and participate in some experiments on a replica of the International Space Station. Notice how there's things on the roof, like the computers, and there's bags. Uh, there's all kinds of research that can be done in here without gravity, although there's actually gravity here. We couldn't figure out a way to get rid of it. And it's kind of strange growing food and lettuce and such in a space station. That's the Russian Sokol suit, and that's the real one I had up in orbit. Now this is a part of the space station everybody loves. It's the cupola, and it's got windows that are panoramic, aiming down at the Earth. Another area in which he helped us was the truss, which we have a replica of outside the planetarium here is a replica of the trust that he actually helped put together. The kids will practice spacewalks here by hooking on to these rails and assisting each other with their tools. Ours are a little more, our tools are a little fancier than this that we use in space for real. 
but these are good enough for the young people. We, I think, are the only children's museum to have received a, a grant from NASA, a great partnership with Purdue University in creating the Indiana Astronaut Wall of Fame. This is the astronauts that came from Purdue, and you notice there's quite a few of them, and I don't think any other school can put up this many plaques. This is just great. So another important aspect of what we try and do here is to help interpret the object using costume-themed interpreters. So here you have a chance to meet a flight control operator or a mechanic that can talk about, well, during the day of launch, I remember what it was like, that kind of thing. And it helps our children and adults suspend disbelief and feel like they're there. So for grandparents and even great-grandparents, it brings back the space race and all of that. For young children, I think it's one of these wow moments to see the real object up close and personal. My grandparents brought me to the same children's museum that I didn't realize years later uh, I'd be so closely involved in a major exhibit on a space station that we had built. Thousands of young people will be exposed in Indianapolis for the whole Midwest. Uh, you kind of can go home to the space station and it's right here at the Children's Museum. David Wolf and the museum staff are hopeful this new exhibit will ignite the curiosity and wonder of space exploration in young visitors. You can learn more about Beyond Spaceship Earth at the museum's website below.